Okay, this is going to be a slightly longer video where we're going to talk about what to do if things are wrong. And um, in the previous videos, we covered that um, the conversion ratio is wrong. Uh, the keywords are not converting. There's low sales. For example, this client has mentioned that um, she has low sales. And we need to figure out why, what's going on, um, and how we can improve that. Uh, so let's take up this campaign that has the highest spend, and we work from there. The first thing that we need to do is we click on autopilot log. And we check all the um, all the keywords that are performing. So here we can see that packing cubes. Uh, right now the bid is at zero point zero three, and um, historically it has performed really well when it was around uh, August nine and August nineteen twenty. So the sale around August nineteen and twenty is around zero point eight to zero point seven. So we can make this bid as 0 0.7 70 cents instead of 0 0.3 so we can override autopilot and make it 0 0.7 cent um, the other thing we could do is if you go to autopilot uh, setting and you click on advanced option you can say jump start bid so this will automatically do this task it will uh, jump start the bid from 0 0.03 um, to the most you know uh, respectable bid that was in the past uh, so it will override autopilot and choose the the best bid that has happened in the past. It will jumpstart you to that bid. Um, that's the first task you could do. The second task is we have something known as a maximum autopilot bid. And what this is uh, happening is maximum autopilot bid is 2. So we raise it slightly to 3. Uh, we keep it to 3. And... Um, uh, because this has already 199 keywords, we don't want to add any new keywords. Uh, we just switch this off. We switch on remove bad keywords, which is already on. And um, yep, yeah, and then we save it um, over here where we are good. So we save this campaign. Um, now what we do is we go inside this ad group. And two important part is remember how we had maximum autopilot bid so autopilot would never go above that bid uh, three dollars is a good amount uh, you can usually make it four or five uh, the reason why you can increase this autopilot bid is a maximum autopilot bid is a if it is not profitable you know at any point autopilot will automatically reduce the bid so you don't have to worry about you know spending a lot of money on four dollar bid autopilot will automatically reduce the bid However, there are some um, keywords that should never reach this four bid, you know, uh, $3 bid or $4 bid. So what you do is you go to this columns and uh, you can set the maximum autopilot bid. You can switch on maximum autopilot bid and autopilot target cost. Uh, I'm going to drag this uh, two columns over here. And you can see this floral packing cubes is really one of the worst performing um, rank. Pink flamingo luggage tags, uh, backpack cubing cubes. These are all really the worst keywords. So you can set a maximum autopilot bid for this to be 1.5, for example, um, so that it never goes above this 1.5. Uh, if it's really, really bad keyword, you can even set it to, you know, instead of negating it, you can set it to really low, like 0 0.1, for instance. Uh, this should be 0 0.1. Uh, pink flamingo tags should be also 0 0.1, for example. Uh, in addition to the max autopilot bid for individual keyword, you can also change the target across. So for the worst keywords, you could set, you know, like the, the campaign across, for example, uh, here is set to 30%. Uh, but for this keyword, you could set that for these worst performing keywords, I don't want the target across to be higher than 20%, for example. Uh, so what you're doing is you're essentially overriding the autopilot for the campaign for individual keywords. And uh, because this person has lots of keywords and uh, lots of badly performing keyword and lots of ad groups and lots of products, uh, w what you could do is the best way is to just do a clean start, right? And the way to do a clean start is to create a campaign. So creating a campaign uh, by Air Hello is uh, really the perfect way to create a campaign and put it on autopilot. It automatically gets the best keywords uh, it creates the best structure. It puts it in the right, you know, um, uh, campaign, and um, it even splits into three. So, for example, if I take skew A, now one of the skew, uh, 
you, you can also search by SKUs, but if you haven't connected Amazon, it's best to, you know, just type in the SKU over here. So let's assume I'm typing SKU A and SKU B, and I click next. Uh, what, what you could do is uh, you could split campaigns by keyword match type. So it creates three manual campaign and one auto campaign. It will link the auto campaign to the to the right manual campaign. It will enable autopilot. Uh, that's for SKU A. This is for SKU B. Um, keep the defaults as it is. This is the budget for each day. So auto campaign budget is um, $50. You could even make it you know, lower, $20 for the auto campaign and for the manual campaign as um, $35. And you click create and it'll create all the campaigns for you in the right structure. So for clients like this that have too many products, that have too many keywords that are really performing bad, I think the best idea is to just create new campaign. However, if they're insisting to keep the old campaign and you still want to you know, kind of uh, perform an emergency operation on those old campaigns, uh, or if you want to keep the old campaigns running at a lower budget till the time the new campaign picks up, then you can perform what I just said as a switch off some of the old uh, ad groups, switch off the non-performing ad group, just keep one ad group alive in the keywords. You set the max autopilot bid to a lower amount for the campaigns, for the keywords that are not performing well. You can click on a keyword and it shows, you know, how it has performed. Uh, pink flamingo luggage tags, for example, has no sale. Uh, has not has spent a lot but has not sold anything uh, so you can check the the history of a, a particular keyword um, the keyword the quality rank is just an idea you could uh, check into each keyword and see which one has spent a lot and uh, has not performed and you could use the max autopilot bid for that particular uh, keyword so the bid I'm gonna bring it over here next to the max autopilot bid. So one point to remember is uh, you see the bid is $3 and we set the max autopilot bid to 0 0.1. Uh, autopilot will only reduce the bid if there has been any spend. If there has, not, has been no spend, it doesn't make sense to reduce the bid, right? Uh, if you want to reduce the bid immediately, so what you could do is you could just uh, double click this and you could set it to 0 point, you know, for example, 45. Uh, this to 0 point, uh, 35, for instance. Um, so you could reduce the bid directly. Um, else, if you set the max autopilot bid, autopilot will wait till you have some spend and then keep on reducing the, uh, the bid for that. So keyword quality rank is a good idea to find out which is a high-performing keyword, which is not a high-performing keyword. You can still click on individual keyword inside a autopilot and check how they are performing. And um, it's a bit of a you know laborious task when you have to troubleshoot autopilot like this. Uh, but hopefully this video has given you some idea of how to solve this problems.